Hi guys! Have you ever met someone who never seems to stop talking? Or someone who is so serious and always seem to analyze everything that's going on around them? Or maybe someone who thinks they know everything and that they are the boss of everyone? Or someone who is extremely laid back, passive, relaxed, and just doesn't stand out too much? Well, I'm sure you have. I've always wondered about those types of people and why they act the way they do until I read a book called Personality Plus. I've learned a lot about people's different personalities from this book and now I'm gonna share it with you. So basically there are four types of different temperaments in each and every one of us which are the popular sanguine, the perfect melancholy, the powerful choleric, and the peaceful phlegmatic. I'm gonna talk about the popular sanguine first the easiest way to identify the popular sanguine is to see if that person talks a lot. Because popular sanguines are loud and talkative. They are often a lively party because they entertain everyone with their stories. They make friends easily because they are kind and outgoing. They love to be the center of attention and they can't live without the audience. It's really fun to hang out with popular sanguines because they are fun, kind, charming, positive, and they can keep a conversation going on forever. Despite all those good traits, however, people still have some problems with the popular sanguines. The first problem is, popular sanguines tend to talk too much. The popular sanguines I know always talk a lot. Sure, their stories may seem interesting, but if they keep on talking and talking forever, it gets tiring, you know? The solution is, talk half much as before. If your audience are looking at their watch, or if they keep looking at the door like they are trying to escape from the room, chances are they do want to get away from you. That should be enough signs for you to stop talking. Condense your comments, keep your stories short, and straight to the point. Um, so you know, um, I want to get a new bag, like, but in, so I'm like so expensive, and I, I'm like I couldn't afford it, and and my cat just um, and my cat just got run over by a car, and like I'm so sad because my cat is dead, and now I cannot afford my new bag, and oh my god, I'm so sad, and I just want to get a new bag, and so um, stop speaking in circles and just get to the point already. Stop exaggerating. Sometimes popular sanguines tend to exaggerate these stories until they strike too far from the truth. That's the same as lying, and nobody likes liars. The second problem that popular sanguines have is that they are self-centered. They only talk about themselves, and they don't listen to what other people have to say. They only think of other people as audience, and they aren't interested in getting to know them more. The solutions to this problem are be sensitive to other people's feelings and interests and learn to listen. Stop talking and start listening. We have two ears and just one mouth. Use those ears well. The third problem is popular sanguines are fickle and forgetful friends. My popular sanguines friends all have problems at memorizing things, even people's names. It's kind of sad how someone you've known for quite a while still forgets your name and misspells your name sometimes. Hey Laffy, can I borrow your pen? Mmm, it's Rafi actually. Whoops, my bad. Can I still borrow your pen though? Pay attention to names. It's crucial to remember your friends' names. You wouldn't want to be addressed with another name yourself, would you? The fourth problem is, popular sanguines interrupt and answer for others. For me, this is the most annoying part of all. I get really, really pissed off every time a popular sanguine interrupts me when I'm talking and then bends the topic so it revolves around him or herself again. Yeah, so when I got to class, the teacher was, oh my god, the same thing happened to me too. But I haven't even told you what happened yet. You never believe what happened to me yesterday. So the teacher saw me daydreaming in class and he was like, See the problem there? No one likes to be interrupted. So popular sanguines, stop interrupting other people. No one would want to listen to you if you don't listen to them. The final problem is, popular sanguines are disorganized and immature. Because popular sanguine loves to have fun, they are often reluctant to grow up and be mature. 
They get bored easily and they quit whenever they want to. When you are put in the same working group as a popular sanguine, you will see that at first they are the most enthusiastic about the job, but then they would get bored along the way and they would quit before the job is even finished. The solution is to grow up and pull your life together. We all have to take responsibilities of the problems we make. Don't run away from the trouble, but face them instead. All the temperaments have flaws, but I believe that by recognizing them, we could cut down the flaws so we could learn to become better individuals. So that's all I have to say about popular sanguines. I'm going to talk about the perfect melancholies in the next video. If you want to know what your dominant temperaments are, click here to take the test. I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care and have a nice day. Bye!